Hello, my friend. Welcome to this lesson where we are talking about surface area and more specifically surface area of a closed cylinder. A closed cylinder. What is a cylinder? That is the first question you are supposed to ask yourself. Cylinder. What does how does a cylinder look like? I don't know whether you have ever seen a water tank or maybe a bottle like this one. It has a circle at the top. This is a circle or a circular leaf. Then we have another circle at the bottom. You can also have something like this one. This is a cylinder with a circle and another circle at the bottom. We have a circle at one end, another circle. Then we have a curved surface. This is a curved surface. For a finger to be called a cylinder, it must have the curved surface and the circular end. Two of them. It might be open or closed. So that is an example of a cylinder. Even these ones are cylinders, but these ones are open because of the other, this circle and the other one, they are open. But today I want us to deal with closed cylinder alone. This is a closed cylinder. How many circles are there? One. This is now the net. This is one circle. Mm -hmm. Then we have another circle at the bottom. This is the other circle. Then the curved distance, if you cut the curved distance, this one, if you cut the curved distance, what do you have? What do you have? So now we want to see the real uh, net of a cylinder. And we are talking about closed cylinder. If you cut, let us cut, you cut like that, you'll have a rectangle. So the curved surface the curved surface is a rectangle. It was like that. This was curved. After cutting, it is a rectangle. What is this? This distance at the top here, this is curved distance. And the curved distance is called circumference. So how do you get circumference? Remember if you cut, that curved distance will become a straight line like that. This is it here, this here. This is the curved distance. So how do you get curved distance? Curved distance, that is circumference, it is pi diameter. Then we add the height of that container. This was the height of the container. That is what we have there. So what is the formula which we're supposed to use to get surface area of a cylinder when it is closed, a closed cylinder? This one is a circle. The area of a circle is pi r squared. Then we have another circle which is pi r squared. Up here together. Then we have the rectangle. This is the rectangle representing the curved surface. We have said after cutting, this curved distance here is this one. And the curved distance is circumference which is pi diameter. Pi diameter, then we have the height of this container, this is the height. So the formula of getting the area of the curved surface, it will be pi diameter times height. So the formula which is used to get the surface area of a curved distance is pi diameter times height mm -hmm. plus, this is the curved distance, plus these two circles, so you say 2 pi r squared. This is the formula which we're supposed to use to get the surface area of a closed cylinder. Let us use examples. Find the surface area of the cylindrical tank below. If the question is not specific, or if they don't specify and tell you this is open cylinder, they just tell you it's a cylindrical tank, you assume it is closed. You just assume it is closed. So how do you get the surface area of a closed cylinder? A closed cylinder? Yes, we have seen the formula is these two circles. Remember one circle, 
the formula which you're supposed to use to get area of one circle is pi r squared, and they are two. So you multiply by two. Then you add the area of the curved surface, which is pi diameter times height. Pi diameter times height. Make sure you are doing that, my friend. So let us substitute our measurements. We are two times 22 over 7 times what is the radius? Because we are talking about radius squared. If the diameter is 14, the radius will be 14 divided by 2, you get 7, then you multiply by 7. That is one part of our formula, that is 2 pi r squared. Then you add 22 over 7 times the diameter, which is 14, times height. This is the height of the container, which is 20 meters. Remember, we are talking about surface area. From the word surface, surface. The faces, we have these ones, these are the circles, two of them, that is 2 times pi r squared. The area of one circle is pi r squared, and they are 2. Then we have the curved distance, which we have said is pi diameter times out, times height. So let us simplify by 7, 1, by 7, 1. 2 times 22, you get 44 times 7. 7 times 4, you get 28. 8 carry 2. 7 times 4, you get 2. That is 7 times 4, you get 28. Plus 2, you get 30. 308 is not the correct answer. So you have 308. That is the area of the two circles. You go to the next level or you go to the next part of the formula. By 71, by 7, 2. 2 times 22, you get 44. Then we have 44 times 20. We have 2 times 0, you have 0. Then we have 2 times 4, you get 8. 2 times 4, you have 8. So you get 880. 880 meters square. Remember, we are talking about area. So what is the total surface area? These are the two circles. Then this is the curved surface. So we add 308 plus 880. 8 plus 0, you have 8. 0 plus 8, you have 8. 3 plus 8, you get 11. So the answer is 1188 meters square. Meters square. The next question, the next question, find the surface area of the cylindrical tank below. The closed cylindrical tank below. Let us move together. Take pi, take pi as 3.14, 3.14. This is not simplified, you can't simplify this one with a 7. What is the formula of calculating area or surface area of a closed cylindrical tank? We have two circles because it is closed. So we have two pi r squared. I want to repeat. The area of one circle is pi r squared. Then they are two because it is closed. So it is two times pi r squared plus the area of the curved surface, which we say is pi diameter times out to pi diameter times out. So let us substitute. We have 2 times 20. We were taught to use 3.14. So you use 314. You just change 3.14 into fraction to be over 100 times radius. If the diameter is 20, the radius is 10 times pi. Remember it is 2 pi radius squared. That is why we are multiplying by radius times radius. Hope we are together. This is first part of the formula, 2 pi r squared plus pi, which is 314 over 100. We have just changed 3.14. 
a subtraction times diameter which is 20 times height which is 10 height which is 10 let us start with this part of the question by 0 by 0 by 0 by 0 314 times 2 2 times 4 you get 8 2 times 1 you have 2 2 times 3 you have 6 so 628 that is the area of the two circles the two circles plus by 0 by 0 by 0 by 0 so you have 314 times 2 2 times 4 you have 8 2 times 1 you have 2 2 times 3 you have 6 so you have 628 so it is the total surface area the area of the two circles 628 plus the area of the curved surface which is also 628 and it does not mean the area of the two circles is supposed to be the same as the area of the curved surface this is just for instance so we have 8 plus 8 you get 16 6 times 1 1 plus 2 plus 3 you get 5 6 plus 6 you are 12, 12. so the area is 12 56 meters square centimeters square sorry total surface area 1256 centimeters square hope you have understood Thank you very much for watching. See you later. What I'll be addressing the surface area of open cylinder. Bye bye. Miss you wherever you are.